Hey everybody. In this one, I'm going to show you how to capture audio on a computer system running Windows that has a Realtek audio codec, such as Realtek HD Audio. So, for this demonstration, we have QCreator Channel pulled up, and what we're going to do is we're going to play a video from QCreator Channel and actually capture some sound. So, the first thing you're going to do is go to the control panel, the classic control panel, if you're on Windows 10, Windows 8, or Windows 11. Go to the classic control panel because the settings menu in these newer versions of Windows, the sound menu is just really terrible in my, in, in my honest opinion because the input device that we're looking for is not there by default because it's disabled by default. Plus to keep our directions in line with older versions of Windows such as Windows 7, we will stick with this option here. So the directions I'm giving you from this point will be pretty much identical all the way back to Windows Vista. Windows XP might even apply to this to an extent. Now Windows XP is probably a little different. But um, here we are, we open up sound in the classic control panel and this system here has the Realtek high definition audio codec onboard audio. A lot of computers have Realtek audio. Some don't and unfortunately it seems that some that don't have the Realtek Kodak do not have this option. For example, the QCure Plex they has a VIA audio codec and this option is not available. Realtek HD Audio has this built-in stereo mix recording device and it's disabled by default but we can enable it. And what this will do is this will act like a microphone that captures the sound from the computer and it's, of course, a lot better than just sticking the microphone up to your computer speakers. Now, if your computer does not have this option, perhaps you could go out and purchase a 3.5mm uh, stereo Y adapter, have one side going to your speakers and the other side going and looped back into your line in, which is like this right here. So that's, that's an option. But um, for... This will be using a stereo mix, so we've enabled it, and before we use this, um, since we're using Realtek Audio, we want to do one thing. We want to go to our default playback devices, which is, of course, the speakers, and we need to go in and go to Properties, go to Enhancements, and we may see that loudness equalization is enabled. We need to temporarily turn this off for this. So I'm going to turn that off. So we got that turned off now, and let's go and hit OK. We need to adjust the sound to about, I'm going to say 70 to 80 percent. If you have it higher than that, what can happen is the you'll have, your your audio will sound pretty bad. I don't know what the technical term to that is, but you'll it'll sound pretty bad. So we're going to keep it at like 70 to 80 percent volume on our speakers. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to select a video. Let's say this one here upgrading the QCure Plexi with Solid State Drive. Okay, so go back over to recording and we'll go ahead and select Stereo Mix and choose Properties. Go to Levels. We're going to turn that to about 75, something like that, or maybe about 70. You may have to play around with this a little bit to get it just right. Select OK on that. And I'll go ahead and just get this out of the way. So, here we have our video ready to go. And I do want to mention that these instructions are really just for educational purposes. It's your responsibility however you use them for whatever you're capturing. That being said, um, we'll go ahead and pull up this sound recorder app. Now I should mention, the sound recorder app in Windows 11, Windows 10, and probably Windows 8, they export their audio files as M4A and they seem to do a, they seem to create a good high quality file. Now Windows XP on the other hand 
and I think Windows Vista and maybe Windows 7 export. Um, so the, the sound recorders that are built into those versions of Windows, I think export in WAVE. And the quality could be uh, hit or miss. There is a free application out there you can download called Audacity, which is really nice for editing audio and stuff like that. But for simplicity's sake, we're going to stick with the built-in recorder that's in Windows 11. Okay, so go in here and we'll select Stereo Mix as our microphone, so to speak. And what we'll do is go ahead and press record and select play on the video. Hey everybody, so soon we'll be doing some minor upgrades to the EQ Pure Plexi to make it a little more relevant for what I need it for nowadays. And I should mention, so currently the Plexi has a Western Digital when I adjust the volume enterprise class hard drive. You can see Along it varies the, the volume of what you're recording. Hard drive. So, the hard drive. so if it's over capturing, if, if it's distorted, you can adjust the volume down on your speakers. Windows 10 nowadays. So we'll just we'll set it back to about pretty much required to have a solid state drive to 60. have a usable computer. Now the Plexi, matter of fact, I think is quite Alright, so we're we'll going to pause the video and pull back up the sound recorder. It's going to click pause or stop on that. And we can review the file. everybody. So soon we'll be doing some minor upgrades to the EQ Pure Plexi to make it a little more relevant for what I need it for nowadays. So currently the Plexi has a Western Digital 1 terabyte enterprise class hard drive. And you can see where I turn down the volume. A Seagate 120 gigabyte hard drive. And I should mention you don't hear me talking in this because this application is only listening to the stereo mix. It's not listening to this microphone up here. Windows 10 nowadays, more and more, you're pretty much required to have a solid state drive to have a usable computer. So there you go. That is a small clip of audio we captured from one of my YouTube videos. And what you can do is you can click, right click and choose show in folder. And it will pull up your sound recordings folder, which by default is in your documents folder. It's in a sound recordings folder. It's in documents. So you can see I use this utility quite a bit. For uh, Actually, I use it quite a bit for just doing recordings of myself and things like that. But yeah, so this is where it saves to. And for example, I think it's number 46. Pull it up here in Zoom Player. everybody. So soon we'll be doing some minor upgrades to the EQ Pure Plex. So you could use that file for listening back to or you could use it for uh, video editing or, or whatever. So that's how you can capture sound that's played through your speakers on a Windows computer that has the Realtek HD audio codec built into the motherboard. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to QQ channel, and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also, I recommend following QQ Company on Facebook. A link is in the video description. In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.